Good morning guys, it's Carrie here at Thousands of Roots and it is another Friday, typically a project day for us, but it is too cold. I'm in the greenhouse right now, it's, it's just really cold again. We had a little bit of warm weather, so our pipes broke free in the cabin for two days um, after, being, after having no running water for two weeks and now this morning they're all frozen up again and so we've got about another week ahead of us of frozen pipes that said my actually my project for today is going to be catching up on laundry because we have sunshine and i need sunshine to do laundry so instead of watching me do laundry today which is not a very fun project i thought i'd do a winter homestead update so the children are going to help me out and i'm going to let them Take the camera around and just give you an update on how things are going on the homestead with different animals and some of the things that we've been working on that we haven't been able to share in videos yet. Go and try to find the geese so I can do an update on them for you guys. Let's find them. We only have two males because um, the last one of our males to a neighbor dog. Plan on separating them out into two flocks. And they're fighting a lot. Cause it's gonna be breeding season soon. Hi! Hey guys, it's Josh from Thousands of Roots. I'm gonna give you the chicken update. Here's the coop we built. We still need to put a latch on this board right here. See here, we need to put a latch on this board right here because it fell open. Hi, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be poking your head out there. I gotta close this one. Can you back? There, okay. We still need to put something down here to hold this better than a little stick. And built the coop and moved them and all and uh, well they're not been laying very much because it's thrown off the routine. We do still have one faithful layer. Let me show you here. It's a white Americonda. You can see here. It's white. White one. Let's see if she laid her egg already. She normally lays it in this nesting box. Mm, no, someone else did lay. Look at that. We have more than one layer. Who is this egg? Who gave this egg? Come on, speak up. All right, so I guess we have two faithful chickens laying and actually some other random chickens do lay once in a while. Uh, last winter, we actually did have eggs all through the winter, so we didn't have to buy them at the store. Of course, they decreased in production through the winter, but um, it was great to at least have a few eggs through the winter. This winter though, because of all the changes that we've made to our chicken system, new yards, new coop, and we're still not done. We still have two more yards to put up and two more coops, I believe, to build. So um, all of that has thrown off the chicken's routine. Um, on top of that, we've had freezing, freezing temperatures and um, water freezing up, so it's made it much more difficult to keep fresh water for all the animals on the farm. We've found from our experience that having consistent fresh water is one of the most important things for egg production. We also want to try starting them on some kelp. We haven't tried that before and we've heard that that could increase their egg production as well. Oh, and uh, subscriber bars gave us these nesting boxes that are in here and We'll put you back to some of that footage. Oh my goodness! Look how many! It's full. Josh is excited. I just want to say thank you so much to Jason from Coops and More. We are totally excited about all these gifts. We we knew that the nesting boxes were coming, but you also blessed us with a chick feeder and egg baskets and nipple waters and all kinds of fun stuff. So thank you so much. We look forward to sharing with everyone in our future vlogs how all these products are working. And if you haven't checked out Coops and More, go and do it. They're an awesome company and uh, we are so excited to try out these products and let you guys see how they work. Hey guys, I'm out here with the 
ducks. I'm going to give you a quick update on them. Been getting about one egg a day because ducks really love routine. And we've been moving all over the place and they don't really like that much. So we're still thankful for the one egg we are getting and hopefully here soon we're going to be building a nice duck pond resort area out here. So hopefully that's where around there is where we're going to be building the duck pond resort area. Here's Coco. And here they are. My mom is on a mission to minimize. So this lot was full of stuff. But now she cleared it out and now it's our Lego spot. That's one of our sets over here. And it's kind of cool being up here because it's pretty high. I mean, can you see down there? Oh. Alright, can you guys see that? This is our old composting bin system and it is falling apart. So we are in the process of building a new one. The children and I got started on it a few weeks ago, I believe. And we haven't started using it yet. Um, we would love to do something like uh, Doug did with Off Grid with Doug and Stacy down the road something more permanent for dumping our composting toilet and other waste and things for composting but at this point we don't have the time or finances for something so beautiful and extravagant as Doug built so I'll show you what the kids and I worked on and what our next composting area is going to be looking like so here's the start of it we've got one area just about ready to go. We decided to put the vinyl down because we've had issue with just major weeds growing around the whole thing and making it difficult to get in and dump. So we thought putting the vinyl down would create a little bit of a weed barrier around the whole thing for us, make it easier to access. So we're obviously going to cut out the section here inside each of the areas that we're going to dump in. Of the, we're going to cut the vinyl out so there will be ground contact for the compost so that microorganisms and worms and things can get up there and do what they do for composting. And then an upgrade for us was we put this hardware cloth around the inside so that uh, there wouldn't be a, a whole bunch of stuff just spilling out. It creates a little bit of a barrier but still allows the wind and the air movement which is good for the compost to get a little bit of air through there. We're going to use the slat system in the front here, build slats that we can just put down and go up as we need to and make it easier for dumping as well. It's kind of difficult to get hoist a big heavy bucket onto the top here to dump over so we'll be able to dump from the front and just build up as we go. The hope is that we're going to just abandon completely the old composting area because it's in the middle of our garden anyway and we just want the whole thing out of our garden space. Quick update on the wood storage area that Kip put together. We made a video a while back on that. It's just a simple pallet wood storage area and it's working great. There it is buried in wood guys <laughs> and we have since of course added wood all around the sides and in front. Maybe eventually he'll build a couple more of the pallet storage areas to put in here as well. Update on the shop and barn area, not much to say other than it's making it a little bit easier for this mama to minimize. It's giving me a little bit of room to uh, go through bins and kind of reorganize some of our things that were all, all this was in our cabin if you can imagine and uh, our cabin's very small so it's nice to have this space to kind of gather things and not have to have it not have to have so much in our cabin and around our cabin. We still have a long way to go in the way of minimizing. My hope is to go through everything I possibly can. It takes a lot of time so I'm, I don't have a lot of time but little by little I'm going to be going through our things, getting rid of what we don't need, uh, finding more organized systems and places for things that we do need and hopefully that'll make our lives a lot less stressful here on the homestead. Alright, quick update on the alopecia that Esther and Nathan have been. Um, we've been praying for healing for them both. 
They both have an autoimmune disease called alopecia. They both have the most severe form of it, alopecia universalis, which means they have both lost all the hair on their body before. But as you can see, there's hope. Nathan's hair is pretty much all back in. Still has a little bit in the a little bit in the back that didn't come in, but it's the middle of winter and normally by this time his hair would have mostly fallen out again, huh? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty hopeful for you. Mm -hmm. Super excited that you still have a bunch of hair in the middle of winter, huh? Mm -hmm. And Esther, of course, is a little bit younger and with any autoimmune disease, it just takes time. So we're going to keep on hoping and praying, huh, darling? That your hair comes back. And thankfully, the hair loss is the only symptom of of this autoimmune disease for them. They don't have any other symptoms, huh? No pain, no tiredness, nothing. Thank you so much to everyone who's been praying for their healing. We are hopeful and just really thank you for that. Looking forward to seeing that hair. Are you looking forward to having hair? Yeah. Yeah. But you're just so beautiful. You don't even need hair to be beautiful. <laughs> got quite a few updates on the cows but I'm not going to share too much at this point because we are going to be a part of a milking cow collaboration coming up early February. Well, that's the milking cow collaboration coming up I believe the first of February and it's put on by the Texas boys so make sure that you don't miss that. We're joining in and it's going to be a really fun collaboration. So for today I'll just share the great news that we got test results back from Lil and little man, her bull calf, and they're both A2, A2. So we're super excited about that. Those who don't know what that means, uh, we'll probably talk more about that in the upcoming video as well. He's getting big, guys. Lil is a pretty small jersey. She's considered small to mid-size. We're actually only getting about half to three quarters of a gallon from her per day, which may not seem like much for a jersey to most of you, but uh, there's many reasons why she's not giving us a lot of milk. She is, it's her first freshening, so her first calf. She's on the smaller side for a jersey. Actually, she almost qualifies for a mini jersey. Uh, we only feed her grass and hay. She's so 100% grass fed, no grain, and that's because our family is grain free right now for health reasons. Uh, it's the middle of winter, and we let her calf stay on her through the day. We just separate them at night. So all, all those things considered, she's doing a great job giving us half to three quarters of a gallon. But we are um, definitely needing more milk, and so we're still in the process of getting our cow herd to the point we want it to be to where we're getting the milk that we want and that's going to probably mean another Jersey cow um, down the road. Okay before we finish out this vlog I just wanted to say that as far as our YouTube channel goes we are just plugging away at two videos a week and that's our goal for this coming year 2018 is to continue to upload two videos a week um, more if we possibly can but that for now right now that's a good number for us there's been a lot of requests for particular topics. <laughs> it's crazy windy out. Uh, some of the topics people have asked that we cover are things like uh, homeschooling, uh, more on our solar system, people are interested in child raising. Um, so anyway, it's our goal and our hope this year to address some of those requests and get some videos related to the topics that people have been asking for. and. If you have a topic that you haven't seen or would like to see more detail on, please leave us a comment below this video and let us know what you'd like to see for 2018 on our vlog. So thank you so much again for joining us on this journey. Thank you for being a part of our lives. Thank you for all the encouragement. Uh, we would not be the same people without YouTube. It's made a huge impact on our lives because of all of you. So hope you all have a blessed day and remember whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. <coughs> Little bits learn to walk well, huh? Can you show everyone how you can walk? There she goes. <laughs> <laughs>